So hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my London 2014 IMAX haul. I bought quite a lot of stuff when I was there and then my friend and I went to Shepherd's Bush Westfields so we've bought stuff there as well so it's kind of a mixture and I also went shopping the day after as well so okay it's quite a lot of stuff so I'm just gonna get straight to it and I haven't tried any of the stuff I haven't used any of it so I don't know anything about the products basically so it's all completely new to me so yeah let's get straight to it so the first place I actually went to when I went into IMAX was the first one that I saw my friend and I kind of arranged we were going to go straight to this place I have vlogged the whole day so you can check that out on my other channel more Tasha link below um, we went to NARS and I um, picked up this little kit it's a little what is it called it's a velvet matte lip pencil um, kit and it's got three vel velvet matte lip pencils and a sharpener so it looks like this. The shades of the lip pencils are Damned, Marina and Sex Machine. And it comes with a little sharpener. And this was £15, which I thought was a really good deal. And I haven't tried any of them yet, but I can't wait to try it. I also picked up a blush in Deep Throat for my sister. But that's in her stuff, and I think she'd probably kill me if I went through it to find it. After that, we went on to Crown Brushes, where it was just absolutely manic. The whole like display was like a massive stand. And it was just like went all the way around and um, we queued like for ages, well not ages, but we kind of had to queue to get around the sand to get to the brushes. So yeah, um, I got five brushes. Um, I'll start off with this one because this is probably one of my favourites. This is a like a massive foundation brush and it's really dense and it's like a, I don't know, domed big thing. And this is the C C450, so C C400. C4, but we'll just go with that. And it's really cool, and I don't know how much it was. <laughs> um, where's the receipt? Oh, it doesn't say because I spent it, everything came to £36. If I know the prices, then um, I'll write them along here. Next, I got the C405 contour brush, which is just like a small blush, angled blush brush, because I only have one of these, and I just thought that was quite nice. Um, I think oh, I think this was £16 actually, I think this was about 6 might be wrong. Um, then I picked up the C441 Pro Blending Crease Brush because it's like absolutely identical to my Sigma E35 brush and this was £3 and it's really soft as well so I'm going to do a pretty do a comparison video and keep starting um, of the two brushes. Then I got this brush which has absolutely no name, but it's a dupe for the MAC 217 brush. So it's just like a tapered, slightly tapered um, blending brush. This was £3 I think as well. Then last one I got was from the um, Deluxe range. So it has this like brown handle and stuff and it is the, I don't know if that's an, yeah, IB111 round angled blender. So it's just like a kind of slightly angled, I don't even know how to describe it, but I thought it would be quite good for concealer. So it's just like a flat top thing, I don't know, it's just an unusual shape which I thought was quite nice. This was uh, again like 3 or 4 pounds I think. So yeah, all of these came to 36 pounds, which I thought was quite a good deal. And there's a little thing inside here, oh it's just a little leaflet telling you about crown brushes. You can order crown brushes online and they are still not too expensive, I don't think there was any sort of deals on on this. Um, I think on the kits they were slightly reduced, but I think everything that like the main brushes were the sort of standard prices because they're cheap anyway, so it was quite, you know, quite good. Um, next we went to, I think we went to Inglot next, it was kind of all jumbled. Um, I've been to Inglot quite a few times before already because um, there is one in one of the shopping centres I go to in Spain and I've been, to, I've just been to them a few times and I know that there is actually one in the Shepherd's Bush Westfield so we weren't actually going to go to this, we were just going to go to the one in Westfields but then we noticed, we, I think I heard someone say that they had like 30% off or something ridiculous like that so um, we went over and I kind of just looked at the eyeshadows and I was like, I was thinking about it, I don't actually use my um, Inglot eyeshadow palettes enough because I just forget about them and I haven't really got them so that all the colours go together, I kind of just picked out colours that I liked and put them in the palettes so it's not like I can just take that one palette with me so it's kind of annoying but um, I might actually take the shadows out and like rearrange it so I didn't get eyeshadows this time I was looking and I was like there's really not many I want um, Jade however did get a five palette um, like a five one and she got really nice colours so I might see if I can get a picture of it and or see, go check out her Instagram she's linked to my Instagram places and stuff so you should probably post a picture on there um, we also got a 20% off online voucher, 
so I might have to do a little shop online. I probably won't because I won't have any money to. But yeah, so I was looking at the eyeshadows and I was like, there's none really that I want here. So I was like, I was just kind of waiting in line. I wasn't going to buy anything. And then I noticed some blushes and I was just looking at the blushes and I was like, actually, these are quite nice. And I have like no blushes. So I got these um, duos. They're called Fusion Blush and Illuminators. So I got two of these. And then because they only do like the singles or like, I think it's fours for blushes. Um, I had to get a face palette. I don't know, I'll show you in a minute. Um, so yeah, I'll just talk about these blushes for a minute. I got 203, which is this one. So it's like a kind of pinky blush and a matching kind of highlighter. Then I got 204, which is the same layout, except this is just more of like a dusty pink one. And because they don't do a like a double for the um, these size ones, you I had to get this, which is a like the pressed powder sort of compact palette so it just looks like this and it's got a big magnetic thing so rather than having a divider in the middle I'm just going to put them both in you know next to each other so they'll just be like next to each other like that which I still think is quite cool oh, stuck to it so yeah that came to 16 pounds which I thought was like crazy good value because last time when I was in Spain I got a quad from um, Inglot and that cost me like 27 euros so 16 pounds for this and Jade's was 21 pounds for five I just thought that was you know crazy good so yeah that was what I got from there after that I think <laughs> I have no idea what order we did any of this in I went to this stand here because I had heard I would looked at this one online and I knew that they did um, brush guards and when we got there they also did Sigma so Jade picked up an E35 brush and I was so tempted to because they were only 10.95, and I was like looking at all the other eye brushes but I just stuck to my brush guards because I was like right I wanted these so much um, so yeah I've got some brush guards here I got the basically if you don't know what these are they're little guards that you put over your brushes they're like you know those things that you used to put your finger in and you pulled and it went tight they're basically these but you can put them on your brushes and it protects the bristles like so so I got the powder and kabuki set and the um, shadow liner pack so these are like smaller ones and these are big ones these were 395 no 398 390 something like that each um so yeah they were sort of standard I don't know how much they are online actually I just knew I wanted these and in with that you get like loads of like leaflets and things so you get a little card from Beauty Bee Cosmetics you get a little leaflet about Sigma stuff and then you get this little packet and I was like what is this so I opened it on the train and it's actually a book of samples and I saw there was like a massive pile of these and I wish I just like took a few extra because they were just like on the side and I didn't realise what they were. So it comes like this, there's a um, contour, highlight and two blushes. Have I done that right around? Yeah. And you just peel off the little sticker and it's like a, it's like a mini sample of it and I just thought it was a really clever way to give out samples. Because you don't often get samples of um, powder products because it's just kind of awkward to give out, you know. So yeah, I thought that was really clever and I wish I picked up more because I didn't realise what they were. Um, but yeah, so you get that with that for free, and I think you probably could have just picked up one if you were walking past, um, but I didn't obviously, because I realised what they were. So yeah, that's what I got in there. Now, I think that is like everything from IMAX itself. Um, in the big bags, you could just pick up the big bags as you were walking around, by the way, you know, there wasn't any kind of, like, restrictions. Um, I actually didn't realise where they were until I ran into one of my subscribers, Hannah, and she, she's also done a haul, by the way, I might link it below if I remember. <laughs> um, yeah, she told us where to go get the bags, so thanks Hannah, we went and got the bags, and then I went to go back and find her and I couldn't find her, so I was like, oh no! <laughs> yeah, anyway, we got the bags, and we went off to Westfields, where we went and had a little mooch around, and we found an essence stand. We were generally like going for just, I don't really know, just to, we went for lunch and stuff, so you can check our vlog and you can see that. But no, we found an essence stand, um, and of course I went twice and stuff because I haven't been to Essence since I went to Spain last. I spent £10.45 in there which wasn't too much I suppose. And I got quite a lot for what I spent. So I got this, what is this called? This is the Essence Studio Nails Nail Polish Corrector Pen. So it's basically a pen that has like nail varnish remover in it. So you can just like go around your nails and just correct anything. Which I thought was quite good. And this was £2.69 which is quite good. Then I got this, um, I didn't really realise what this was to be honest, I was just like well that looks cool, this is the Express Nail Peeling um, Innovative Massage Effect. I thought this was for nails when you get peely nails but it turns out it's for cuticles, which is kind of annoying. But um, either way it's still quite cool. 
so it's got like this little massager thing and you like twist the bottom and it like squirts up it's like um cuticle remover and you like massage it into your cuticles and it gets rid of all your dead peely cuticles which is quite cool and that was 249 then i picked up a essence long lasting eye pencil in black fever just because I got one of these in the summer um, and I got like a goldy one and I really liked the formula and I really liked the kind of, you know, retractable um, pen sort of thing because I find it's just so much easier to have one of these than a pencil and yeah, these ones are quite good. This was 149 which is obviously ridiculously cheap. Then I got a nail varnish in, um, what is the shade? I think it's just Pro White Rose, so it's just like a pinky French manicure colour because I ran out of my French manicure colour and I needed a new one. This was 179 and then I got these Essence Eyebrow Tweezers because they looked cute and I don't have any eyebrow tweezers and these were, were what were they? These were 199 so yeah, that's my little Essence stuff and the bag was just adorable and the staff were really nice and I found because I had an eye bag when I was walking around all the different makeup stores like MAC and Inglot, they kind of took you a bit more seriously because I knew that you were like into your makeup so they were like you know you could have a conversation whereas sometimes I think as a younger teen like people just look at you and you go up to the big makeup handers and they're like oh they don't know what they're talking about sort of thing when you go there and then you kind of sometimes you know a bit more about some of the products than they do which I think is a bit weird but yeah no, look how cute this little bag was it's just adorable but yeah, the staff they were really nice and really friendly um also went to oh this one's a bit crumpled a store called Beauty Base it's just kind of like a really low priced um, makeup, like I don't know how to put it, it's kind of just like random brands but they had LA colours and these were 99p, I meant to pick my nails before I filmed this by the way, um, so I got two shades, I got two really bright ones because they were like 99p and I was like, do you know what, I want some bright ones for the summer. So this one's called Wisteria and it's like a nice pink colour and this one's called Lightning and it's just a neon pink because I don't own a neon pink, so I was like, I need some bright colours for the summer. So yeah. I got those. I also went into Boots um, with my aim to get this one particular item. Um, because I keep stealing my sister's Gimme Brow, I needed to buy my own. You might have seen it at my June favourites, not sure if that's going to be up before or after this. Might put it up after this just because I want to get this video up. Um, so yeah, I bought my own Gimme Brow from Benefit and I paid for it on my Boots points. <laughs> so it's a £17.50 but I didn't actually pay for it at all and it's just a really really great um, eyebrow gel. And it's just super quick, and yeah, so that's what I got in boots. Okay, memory card change. <laughs> yeah, so um, we also, when we went into MAC, um, we both wanted to, Jade wanted to get colour matched for a concealer, so she got that, and then we got these little samples because I wanted a sample of the Pro Longwear Foundation in um, NW20, because I've got the concealer and I wanted to see the foundation with it sort of thing. So I've just got a little sample of that, um, which the lady did for us. Then, um, I'm trying to think what sort of to say with this, I'm trying to like separate this all out. Yesterday, so on Sunday, because I went to my on Saturday, so on Sunday there was the um, Boots Beauty event in my local Boots and I wanted to go and you had to buy two things from a high-end makeup brand, a high -end makeup brand, so I bought two things from Smashbox to get a goodie bag, So and you got £5 worth of points on your Boots Advantage card. So I went and we talked to the lady a bit. I wanted to try the um, blemish control primer, but they didn't do a small miniature version of it. I didn't want to buy the big one in case it didn't work. So she did me a little sample of it, which I'm yet to try. Um, then she, I got the miniature Smashbox Photo Finish um, Foundation Primer in like the light one. Uh, so it's just a little baby one. This was 12.50, and it's just really cute. Look at it. It's like a little baby one. I mean. I'm not going to use this all the time, I've still got my little sample of it, so i am just kind of got this, like, I don't know, I just liked it, I just wanted a little baby one, because the big ones were like £25, and I don't want to spend that much on it, I just wanted a little something, you know. Um, also, to get the mini bag, obviously you had to buy two things, so I bought this as well, this is the Photo Finish Lid Primer, which I've wanted forever, so I got this, this was £15, I mean, I got this first, and then I was like, right, I need something else, and that was like the cheapest other things, so I was like, well, I might as well get that. So it just looks like this. Um, I really love Smashbox products. I love their primers. I just love everything about them. They're just really great products. And um, I always go and try stuff when I'm in there. And I've tried this for ages. So it just looks like this. Ah. 
and I've tried the Urban Decay one because I've got all the samples from my Naked 3 palette and I just don't rate it that much. I mean, it lasts, but it doesn't make my eyeshadow look amazing, I mean personally, or it doesn't do anything fabulous, so I thought I'd give this one a try for £15. I mean, I think it's the same price as the Urban Decay one, but it will last me forever anyway, so yeah, that's what I got in there. Then in the free goodie bag, I'll show you what you get in here. You get this... You get loads of samples of things basically. You get this big um, Bumble and Bumble colour mind um, like these samples. So you get a sample for the shampoo and conditioner and the UV protected styling balm. And the samples are quite good, they're 7 mil, so they're quite they feel like there's a lot in them. So you get that. Then you also get from Bumble and Bumble another like two of the same shampoo and conditioner that's in this kit. I'm not sure if we were supposed to get these, but we've got them anyway. Um, then you get the sample of the shampoo and conditioner, the thickening one, which I'm excited to try. You get the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. You get a little, um, how, big, how big is this sample? I don't know how big this sample is, but this is supposed to be quite nice, so I'm excited to try this. And yeah, it's a cute little colourful pouch. You get a Boots Sultan Once Sun Protecting Sun Cream, which is only a 3ml sample, which, you know, compared to these 7ml ones, feels a bit stingy, comparing, like, you know, considering the price difference. Then you get a kids version of uh, SPF 30, this is also a 3ml sample, so Boots are being very stingy there. Then you get a sample of the Ojean Rare Blend Total Hair Therapy Play Oil, which is like this. I don't know. I just dropped it. That's great. This is supposed to be really good, actually. This is a two mil sample. It's quite a big little bottle, and it's the one with like the three colours, so it looks really cool. And I'm excited to try that. You also get from Ojean. You get this Damage Reverse um, Restorative Hair Treatment Plus, which I think is like a mask. Yeah, it's supposed to be for very dry and damaged hair, so I'm excited to try that. I'm saying I'm excited to try everything because I am. You get two L'Oreal Paris Age Perfect Cell Renewal ones, which, I mean, don't know if I'm going to use these. I've got some more of this sort of thing. Um, I think I might give them to my mum. I'm not saying that she's old. I'll <laughs> just give them to her. And the last thing you get is a mini Smashbox Photo Finish. Um, foundation primer so this is the like original one and I also I picked up one of these sounds really gross I found one of these like on the floor it wasn't on the floor it was like on the stand of benefit in London and I picked it up and I was like oh what's this and I was like I'm gonna keep this but I gave it to my sister I was like I was like oh here you go because now I've got two so now I wish I didn't give it to her I wish I just kept it why did I not keep it I don't know so yeah that's everything I got I'm just gonna also do a mini shout out here to Plumbear which I went into um, in Westfield this is like my favourite shop in the world and everything was on sale pretty much and I got another hoodie because I love the hoodies and it's just like this and there's the hood and this was, it says on the tag it's 15 99 but I only paid 12 99 for it so yeah, loved that and I also bought Matt a belt in there but I gave it to him so I can't show you that <laughs> so yeah, that's everything that I bought go check out my vlog, hopefully it'll be up before this or at the same time as this, so link will be down below thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye